obviously see that Martin made for me for Lunar New Year. You don't want to play? Today is basically last first day of school. This is like the first day we're going in person in two weeks, but I don't really count that as real school <laughs> because uh, my ass is not really, you know, paying attention most of the time. But <laughs> today, yeah, like I'm going on a campus and it's so bittersweet. I'm like so excited to graduate and not be in school anymore, but also like I'm growing up. Like this is scary. <laughs> today is technically the third day of like in-person classes but my professor is on vacation so he like canceled the first day of class um and just like had it on zoom because he was out of town which i'm just like okay like go off like you're going on vacation like i love that for you but if you're like a student and you're in that same situation like professors wouldn't give a fuck like they'd just be like well you have to be in class so i just like that kind of annoys me but it's okay <laughs> with this being my last semester I'm really grateful that I'm only taking two classes. I think it'll be a good transition on when I actually graduate because like the time that I'm going to spend on like Tuesdays and Thursdays, which I don't have class, like I can like try to be an adult, I guess. <laughs> um, emphasis on the word try. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Do Because I can see you so I just got home from class and I wanted to thank Princess Polly so much for sponsoring today's video. They ship from within the United States and you can get free express shipping to the US which is around like three to five days on all orders over $50. Princess Polly also offers after pay and shop pay for all US customers and I have a 20% off code which is JL20. Okay so now I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I got and these are all exclusive to Princess Polly. So the first actually is the one that I'm wearing right now. It's a green set that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think it is so pretty, especially with my orange hair. I think it really complements it well. The stretchy material makes it so comfortable, but I also kind of feel like I'm like put together, like I have a set on, like I know what I'm doing, but I'm just feeling like I'm wearing pajamas. So I have this next set here and it's blue and I really love the quilted design. I feel like that's really unique. And this shade of blue is one of my favorite shades. I've been wanting to wear sets more and I think this one I'll be wearing a lot and I really like how the top has a zipper so I don't know sometimes you don't want to just like stretch it over your head and ruin your makeup so I just like that kind of like added touch to this and of course I feel like I could wear this just as a top for just other outfits and then this I could wear at home or even out and it just they look good together but they also look good separate which I'm always looking for in a set I don't like when sets just like look nice when they're together like they need to be okay um, separate this button-up is definitely the favorite out of the bunch because it fits me the way that I wear wish all button-ups would fit me. I love when button-ups are like kind of like tight around your boobs but kind of like flare out but they're not like too tight everywhere else. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I can't find anything like this. I wish I had it in like white and black and just red like literally every single color or pattern imaginable because I love the way that this fits me. I do love the earth tones of this and I love stripes so I can definitely see this as a layering piece or just wearing it on its own. I do have a lot of jeans but when I saw this one I was immediately sold because I love the distressed detailing on it it goes all the way down the leg and it has really cool stitching and it has extra fabric out here that kind of flaps out I also don't have any white jeans either so I thought this would be perfect to add because sometimes I'm not really going for like a white jean that's like super plain I really like how it's kind of like a vintage kind of look to it because of the distressing I also have a kind of normal pair of jeans here 
I love a baggy low-waisted jean that's just like baggy all around but doesn't look like you're too swamped in denim you know like when it's like very obviously thrifted and doesn't fit you like I'm not really into that sometimes so I like this one because it doesn't make my butt look like too flat I mean it doesn't look like because it is like really baggy but I don't know I just really like the fit of this one and the wash is extremely universal it would match with any top I put it on with a lot of jeans are usually pretty long on me so I really appreciate how it's already comes with a frayed edge so if I do end up like trimming it it won't look too weird I feel like you can't really go wrong with a pair of black platforms so I have these ones that are kind of like toe thongs uh, I have like other ones that kind of like strap around your foot like this But I feel like it doesn't like latch onto my foot that well and like, my feet just kind of like slap on it And it's just not a good time sometimes So I feel like this will have like a better grip and I really like the detailing It's kind of like a puffer jacket and of course, you know You gotta go with the platforms always and the last thing I want to show you are these pair of sunnies I love how funky and retro they are. I love the, the colorway of it and I like how the handle like the handles what are these called and i love how the sides match like kind of width of the lens i just really like that detail i actually really love how they look with this set i think the greens really complement each other so yeah thank you again so much princess polly for sponsoring today's video and thanks to you guys for supporting me and just allowing me to have all these opportunities and yeah let's get on with the day I'm getting my hair dyed today, I'm getting my roots done, and I'm thinking of going a little bit darker, and I'm driving today! Um, I don't know if I talk about this a lot on my channel, but I do have driving anxiety, so um, I am a little nervous, but it's 2022. I can do this like I got I fucking got my license when I was like 16 years old like tell me why four years later even more like no we're not going like I trust myself I can do this the thing about driving that makes me nervous is like other people because a lot of people especially here in San Diego like are pretty reckless drivers so I get nervous about that but I gotta trust myself, I gotta trust that I know what's happening on the road and I'm just like adjusting all the mirrors because Martin usually drives my car. <laughs> so, yeah, I can see everything, yeah. Okay, see you at the salon. So much darker I think on camera it looks a lot more red than it does in real life but during the appointment I snagged some reservations to Din Tai Fung so I'm so excited we're gonna head over there soon I just need to go home right now and change but yay oh it's so different ah it's it's so different but I think I like it like I need change you know Okay, so change of plans. We're going to Korean barbecue because this motherfucker already made reservations for Din Tai Fung on Valentine's Day and I didn't know. <laughs> so, I'm excited. I love Korean barbecue, so I'm not mad about this at all. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, but I wanted to kind of come on here and talk about like the way that I felt on my last first day because I didn't really talk that much and also just how I feel about graduating and growing up. There's also one thing that I want to tell you guys if you are applying for colleges or if you're in college right now is to take summer classes or winter classes 
online um, at a community college. That's the reason why I'm only taking two classes in my last semester because I took so many classes at community colleges. First of all, because it was so much more cost effective. It was so much cheaper. I saved so much money. And also since it's online, it's usually a lot simpler than uh, doing like a full semester, like how my school does, like in person, doing projects, all that stuff. Like it's not that complicated um, online. And also since it's a summer or winter course it's very very short so it's kind of more like a quarter um, or even maybe less and you kind of just like jam everything in there and it does you know kind of suck sometimes when you're like in summer classes and like your friends are like no worries all that stuff but trust me like I do not regret it at all. I feel like that really paid off because now I can kind of have like not a care in the world. Like I can really just focus on my capstone classes that I'm taking right now. And then, you know, God forbid, like you don't pass the class in summer, especially if it's at community college, like you don't have to send in your transcript, you know, like then you could just take it at your institution that you usually go to. So it kind of gives you like two chances. You usually can't do this with major courses. So these are definitely reserved for like the GEs, kind of like the stuff that you don't really care about that you actually have to do, all that stuff that colleges use to milk out so much money out of us. So I am kind of scared of growing up and graduating, but I am very privileged and grateful to have a career once I do graduate. Uh, not a lot of people have that and it's for something that I love and I love like just making videos and creating content so I'm like just so grateful to have this but obviously of course you know some someday like the internet won't like me anymore you know like I won't like the internet and I'm very grateful that I got my education and a degree uh, to kind of put myself into the real world if I need to. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't jealous of some people that I've seen that like drop out of high school, don't go to college, drop out of college, and like they're very, very successful and all of that. And sometimes I'm like, oh, like I don't like I don't need a college degree to do the job that I'm doing. but. I really don't regret it at all. Um, I think it gave my parents peace of mind. So did for me too. Like I went to college because I wanted to, you know, my parents didn't force me to, obviously they wanted me to, but they wouldn't have forced me. Like my little sister goes to cosmetology school and they're so supportive of that. And I'm very supportive of her too. So like, I didn't go to college because my parents forced me to. Um, I definitely wanted my education. I don't know, like seeing these 18 year old girls that are so extremely successful and like, you know, like they're going to be okay for the rest of their life. Um, and I'm just here sometimes like, typing my 30 page notes because I literally just did that because I have an exam tomorrow and I'm just like wow like they don't have anything but also we don't know what goes like what they do um on the side because obviously being an influencer and all that stuff is very very time consuming and all of that but sometimes you can kind of tell like when people kind of get things handed to them and I don't know yeah, I don't really know what I'm saying. If you didn't know, I'm graduating with a business marketing degree with an emphasis on integrated marketing communication. And when I signed up for my major, girl, I did not know what IMC was. I was just like, this is a long word. This would look cool. I knew I wanted to be in like business marketing because business is kind of like the most stable thing. And uh, marketing was most creative out of all of that because you will not catch my ass doing finance or accounting. I really had a great college experience and I'm just so happy with all of the friends that I've made and all of the experiences. I really, really loved it and I, again, don't regret it at all. I'm so happy I decided to go this route. Obviously, I'm only speaking for myself. Some people, school, all of this is just not for them and that's great, you know, like listen to yourself, listen to your heart. But for me, I really, really enjoyed it and I'm so excited for my last semester, I'm really gonna take everything in one day at a time, and I'm gonna bring you guys along too. Ooh, wow. I still feel like I'm like 15 years old, and I remember when I used to look at college graduates and I used to think they were adults, and wow, like they're so accomplished and they're like so old. <laughs> but now that's me, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it, I guess.
I think we're just gonna watch Beauty Inside for a bit and then head to bed. But uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. You can use my code JL20 for 20% off. And again, yeah, I love you guys so much. Stay safe and sexy. And I'll see you next time. Bye. C'est l'histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois. Cherchant l'impossible, elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée.